Hi everyone, my name is Angela from Angela Stitches and welcome back to my channel. So last night I stitched a little bit on the pink cuffs after I put up my last video and I think I have a clip of it from last night so I'll put that here. So I just worked on the pink house and I worked on this sheep and a little bit of the grass and because of the fabric color and everything the sheep isn't showing up. It's not visible at all but I really like how it looks on the cover photo so I'm not really sure if I need to pick that out and redo it with a different color or just leave it. So I worked on the grass a little bit to take my mind off of it and now I'm not really sure what to do. So I'm just going to leave it for now I guess and see if I change my mind later. But I actually found a tag to this fabric. It was right here with the chart. I think I left it in here because I knew I wasn't going to remember the name. But it's called Love Letter and 40 Count by Color and Cotton and it's a really pretty fabric with some light modeling on it and it really does look like old parchment so the name really makes sense and it's just a very nice neutral color as well and I think any sampler would look really great on it. And then I think I want to finish all of the cross stitches on the Knitting Angel. I was actually trying to last night but I didn't get too far. But I just need to fill all of the empty spaces here with the same color except I need to make sure to leave the spaces for the beads. So yeah, I'm going to work on this all day today and yeah, I'll talk to you later. So I just finished the dress and it looks pretty good, but I'm still a little bothered by the seam here because this is stitched with two pieces of paper, um, so it's connected. So right now I'm trying to go over the stitches on the bottom piece right at the seam and I feel like it's less visible in those areas where I just uh, stitched over. So I just did this section here and it's definitely less bumpier and I feel like it's hiding the seam a little better because the extra stitches are adding a, a little bit of a height to it. So yeah, I'm just going to continue and see what that looks like overall. So I'm going over with one of the other colors and I feel like it's less visible here and I don't feel a step to the second paper. But not in this middle section it's more visible and i can also feel it too so if i hold it like this the right side seems more flat where the middle and the right side or the left side you can see the seam so it's the next morning and compared to yesterday i feel like the seam is less visible and if i can i'll try to add the video here so you can compare so I think now I'm less bothered by it and honestly after I cut this out and have all of the things hanging I don't think it'll be a problem but I don't know because I'm the one stitching it it's just my eyes goes to the seam right away and that's all I see but now I think it looks way better. So I'm really happy with it. So tonight I'm going to backstitch her face and add all of the beads and start the wings. And then I'm going to start kitting this up. So I'm planning on starting this one on the 1st of April. And on April 15th, I'm going to start another Mirabilia, which I'll talk about in my next video. But this is super pretty, especially the roses. I think that's my favorite part. So this is called April's Blue Diamond. That's why I want to start this soon. And it calls for a lot of things. And I think I'll just convert them to whatever I feel like when I get to that. And for fabric, I was originally thinking that just a plain white would look best. But... I want some color on the fabric because the dress on her is pretty basic color wise so I'm going to go through my stash and see if I have anything but if I don't I'll just dye my own and this is another of those things to make a coaster but I'm going to use it as a floss card and I think there's 32 holes here but I think it calls for more than 32 colors so I'm going to need a second floss card but yeah, I'm going to start kidding this up to start in a couple of days.
I'm about to start beading and I have all of the colors here and there's not that much to do on the actual angel so I think this will be super quick. So I'm thinking after I finish the angel I'll start working on her wings. So it's been a couple of hours and I finished the angel and I backstitched her face and she looks really pretty and all of the beading is done and there wasn't that much to do so this was pretty quick but I think it looks really good. I'm super happy that I finally got, got this done. So right away I started on her wings and it's on the silver paper so I'm trying not to glare you but it's super pretty. I can already see the knitting patterns on it and it calls for a lot of white beads so I'm super excited about that too. So I think I'm going to knit a little bit now and maybe work on Garden Prelude if I can because I only have a couple of days left until I start a new mirror. Just real quick, I decided what I want to do for my third small ornament and I chose this one from Rose Quaker. So I'm going to have to mirror that image for the whole square or diamond shape, I guess. And I chose that because of that diamond shape because I want to finish it like this one. So this is by Brooks Books and I FFO this with a tassel on the bottom with some beads. And I really want to do this again. And I thought a diamond design would look really nice with the point on the bottom with the tassel. And for floss, I'm thinking this purple by Color and Cotton called Festival. Because I really like the different colors on it. And I have a lot of purple here, but I rarely use it. So I was just looking through it, thinking maybe I can use several different colors. But I think I'll just stick with this one. I started the small ornament so I decided on this one at the edge and I should have checked this before I started this but this motif on 32 count is about 5 inches which is way bigger than I thought so it does fit in this fabric but it's a little too big for how I want to finish this ornament so I think I'm going to redo this project and stitch this one and this is way smaller and also a diamond shape and it's pretty so I have another piece of this fabric and I still want to use this. This is called Festival by Color and Cotton and because the other two ornaments are pink and greens I want the third one to be more purple or blue. I actually originally was thinking blue but this caught my eye and it's really pretty on this fabric so I'm still going to use this to stitch the smaller motif and I'll save this project for something else maybe. Or actually I think I'll just create my own design with some of the elements from Rose Quaker and keep this. Um, maybe I can stitch this four times so it's symmetrical. Uh, yeah I think that's actually more efficient instead of starting over. And I think that's pretty easy to do and have something in the middle. And I can also use some beads and things like that. So yeah, I think I'll do that instead of starting a new piece. And I also worked on the Garden Prelude and did some of the hair 
and started the violin so you can kind of see the outline of that and I wanted to work on the dress again but then I had to make another working copy but also I had to figure out the background and make sure I don't stitch those colors so for now I think I'll work on the violin and if I have time to figure out um, the background and the dress before I start my new mirror I'll get back to the dress but I don't think I'll have the time to do that and earlier I went to the store to get something and I found these notebooks and thought this would be a good way to record my projects so here I can write down the names of the projects and what fabric especially the fabric names because I tend to forget those and the count of the fabric the flosses that I'm using or anything different that I'm doing with the projects than what it's called for so I'm not going to start writing down all of my projects right now but I think I'll start with the projects that I'm working on right now or started this month so for example I would write garden prelude by Mirabilia and the date that I started the fabric in this case hand dyed on 40 count and I could even write the name of the video where I showed how I dyed my fabric so if I want to I can watch back to those videos to see how I did it and if I need to recreate it it's there so yeah, I think I'll use this green one for my cross stitching and use the other one for work. But yeah, so now I think I'm going to cut this out. I was going to do it last night, but I want to do the cutting when it's bright. So. So I just finished cutting this out except this area because I thought that might get too fragile if I cut that out right now but maybe with the wings on the back it won't be so maybe I'll cut that out when I FFO this but yeah so I have everything ready except for the wings. So this is what it's going to look like and all I need to work on are the wings and I'm hoping to get this done by this weekend so let me know if you want to see a step by step of how I finish this angel and I'll try to show my process in my next video. I have some part threads here still so I can work on it again tonight but I continued with Garden Prelude instead of working on Knitting Angel but yeah so I stitched the ribbons on her hair and also a little bit more on the violin. The violin is really fun to stitch. Um, I think the way the colors are sectioned and clustered makes it really fun to stitch. So I think I'm going to try to finish the violin tonight and I actually want to finish the ribbon on her hair as well because that was really fun to stitch. So yeah, I'm going to work on this again tonight and then I also started kitting up April's blue diamond and I have most of the colors here but I think some of the DMCs are with my other kitted up projects like my blue moon angel or maybe in Sleeping Beauty. So I'm going to check that later after I finish recording this but really pretty colors and I have more white here because it said it calls for three skeins 
because of the dress but I'm assuming that's because it's charted for 32 counts stitched 2 over 2 but I'm only stitching with one but I thought I was going to need more than the other color so I have a lot more of white here and yeah so for fabric I had two colors in mind or two options so I'll put a picture here but one was a fabric by Zweigart I think in 40 count and it's just a plain baby pink uh, fabric with just no modeling, no nothing. And the other option is by Coloring Cotton. It's called something lemon. I can't remember right now, but it's a very pretty well, a lemon color fabric in 36 count, but I'm not sure how to stitch on 36 counts. Um, are you supposed to stitch with two strands or one? Because I did a small project on a 36 count before and used two strands and it was super bulky looking to me, but then one strand wasn't enough coverage. So, yeah, but anyways, so for April's Blue Diamond, I kind of want something mixed where the majority of the fabric is white but with some color, like some modeling that's pink and maybe yellow this time because I've done pink and blue for Garden Prelude. And also this angel has blue all over it, so I want some contrast and color, I guess. So yeah, I think I'll dye my own fabric for this, but if I want to do pink and yellow, I need another yellow rip dye because I only have pink, teal, and then in blue. So I'm gonna go to the store again and see if they have anything and I think I want to try like a tie dyeing technique this time and create maybe small swirls around the fairy or just one big one because the way the beads are positioned around the fairy, I think that'll be really pretty. So yeah, I'm going to work on that today if I could get a yellow fabric dye. If not, I'll just do it with pink. I think that'll be still pretty. So yeah, I'm gonna work on that today so that I could have the fabric ready by tomorrow. So I had a goal yesterday to finish one of this wings finished, but I only got one of the colors finished. So there's a second color around it and also some back stitching and beads, but it's already really pretty. Like you can see the knitting patterns, like the cables. I think that's really cool. And it's going to look even prettier with the angel. So like this. So yeah, I'm going to work on this again tonight and try to finish this wings or this one side of the wing. And another goal of mine for yesterday was to finish the violin on Garden Prelude and I finished the violin except for the back stitching but I think it looks really good and that violin only took 30 minutes so yeah super fun and super pretty and it looks pretty realistic too so yeah tonight I think I'll finish one of the ribbons here and I think that'll be a nice place to stop and start my new project. So I'm going to start April's Blue Diamond tonight. It's actually the 31st, but I really want to start this. So I'm just going to start this today. And here is the fabric. And I'm really happy with how this turned out. I couldn't find yellow fabric dye, so I used tea instead. So I brewed tea with very little water and made it super dark. So I had my fabric scrunched up in the middle. Um, a little towards the top because I wanted the swirls to be around the top portion of the design to match the design and then I just started pouring some color over it but made sure that I had some white areas and then I left that for 30 minutes and then had it in the oven for another 
maybe 20 minutes and when I took it out it was again too dark and too bright for me so I washed it under cold water and then put it back in the hot water again and simmered it for maybe another 30 minutes I think and some of the color came out and this is the result and I'm super happy with how this turned out it was super fun to make it but I think it was um, really fun to try a new technique so it looks super cool so I'm going to start this tonight and I have all of the colors now most of the colors were in Sleeping Beauty so it was pretty easy to finish cutting this up but yeah so I'm thinking maybe the angel will be placed right here and her wings um, all of this will be hidden behind the angel and then down here all the roses will be right here and I think the beads will be laid on top of the swirls here and down here this way and I think that's gonna look really pretty so yeah I'm finding fabric dyeing to be really fun and enjoyable and I want to do more fabric dyeing and create more patterns with pretty colors but I'm not stitching as fast so yeah but I'll probably do another session of fabric dyeing soon for my next Mirabilia start because I'm going to have a poll on my next video to start on the 15th of April. So I'm about to start this ribbon on Garden Prelude, but I just finished, well I didn't finish it yet, but I just worked on the wings on the Knitting Angel, and I finished the second color at the edge here around the wing, and then started the other side. So I'm going to take a break from this and work on Garden Prelude, and then I'm going to start April's Blue Diamond, which I'm really excited about. So I didn't work again on the Knitting Angel, so this is exactly the same as last night when I showed you right before I started working on Garden Prelude. But I'm going to work on this again tonight and hopefully get all of the cross stitches done. And then I worked on my laptop to create this pattern for my third small ornament. And I just took some of the elements from Rose Quaker. So this small motif here is what I took from Rose Quaker. And I just duplicated that four times so that it's symmetrical and I'm just using this hand dye from Color and Cotton called Festival and I think it's really pretty and also to match this purple I'm going to use these beads and these are leftover from my Mirabilia Christmas tree project and I thought I would incorporate these into the design somehow I think that might look really pretty but I'm not exactly sure where to put it and it does look really big um, against this motif so I don't know but it's just an idea that I have for this for now um, it might change but yeah so that's that so I took this off from the Q-snap so that I could start April's blue diamond which I'll show you in a little bit but I finished this ribbon on Garden Prelude and I really like the color changes it makes it look really shiny and silky so I really like that effect and then I started the one on the bottom and then I stopped. So yeah, I'm going to bring this out again probably in June or July to work on it again. I'm planning on working on all of my Miras and Lavender and Laces one month uh, this year. And maybe I'll just do it in May instead of Mania. But I think that's too soon so I think I'll just do it in June. And I'll only work on my Miras. But yeah, so I'm going to put this away for now so... Right after Garden Prelude, I started April's Blue Diamond, and I don't know, I'm just like really happy with how this fabric turned out. 
And to be honest, this isn't one of my favorite Mirabilia designs. Um, I just like the roses on the bottom of this design and that was it. But because I like my fabric so much that I'm actually starting to really like this mirror. So as you can see, I started from her hair. So it's easier for me to position the design onto the fabric. So if I calculated everything right, her face is here, so the wings are here, and her arm goes here, and the things around it goes where the modelings are. So yeah, it's really fun to work on this, so I'm going to work on this until I start my next mirror on the, fifth, on the 15th. Um, I think I've been changing my Mirabilia projects every two weeks, and I think that's a good time frame, so I'm going to keep doing that. So. Yeah, I guess this is the end of this video and I'm going to now make my March review in April plans video. So yeah, look out for that because I hope you watch that video when it comes out and help me choose my next new Mirabilia start. But yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon in the next one. Bye!